Yes, it's a highly competitive business as young footballers battle it out to reach the top and the clubs fight to sign the brightest stars. Now, over the next few weeks, Jeff Twentyman looks at how clubs produce the players of the future. It's a special new series called Football The Next Generation. Tonight, in his first report, he looks at how young hopefuls are recruited. The banners are out, the placards held high. Across the West Country, public and private sector alike. At Devon and... I just rather play football for fun than money, but uh, I like to play for Man United. I like to play for Arsenal and I like football because it's my passion. Uh, I like to play for City. Well, it's a dream for most boys to be a footballer. The recruitment game, though, is a competitive business. Clubs are allowed to sign boys up to the age of 12 within an hour's drive of the training ground. 12 to 16 year olds can live up to an hour and a half away. It's well populated as far as scouts are concerned as part of the country and you know your Man United's, your Chelsea's, Everton, Southampton, Cardiff, they swarm the Bristol area so we've got competition and of course Bristol Rovers are there as well. Saturday and Sunday leagues are scoured in the hope they'll uncover the next Rooney, Beckham or whoever you think is the top Premier League footballer these days. Some clubs are more active than others. Of course, budgets and finance are obviously key factors. Boys can't be signed until they're actually nine years of age, but clubs actually work with them at six. Personally, I think that's a bit too young. Expert coaching is good, but the ongoing assessment brings genuine pressure. They're babies, I mean, they're six years of age, um, and they just come and have a bit of fun and, and just kick a ball around. But during that time, we're obviously, we do monitor. Uh, players' ability at that level, you know, their touch, their balance, their awareness. Um, and then at eight years of age, we actually bring them into the centre of excellence. Well, Bristol City recently hosted a recruitment exercise so they could cast their eyes over some of the region's 11-year-olds. What are you actually looking for? We're looking for a high level of technical ability. Um, some of the players develop at different ages, and we know that. Um, so you're also looking for the boys who work hard, um, perhaps not be as, as, as good technically as their teammates, but have got that desire and willingness to, to work and, and get better. And then as they get older, I think then you can sort of pigeon them into positions on the pitch. And that's what you look for out here. Somebody who buzzes around and gets on the ball and, and really stands out. Well, I know from personal experience, at times the whole process can be more taxing for the parents than the wannabe footballers. They do get more pressured within the academy system because sort of every Sunday they've got to write things down how they played and that. Well, he thinks he's 10 out of 10 every week. <laughs> <laughs> the coaches are certainly uh, trying to bring the best out of the players in the, in the right way rather than kind of barking at them when they make mistakes, which is a good thing to do. Is the big dream to play in the Premier League one day? I mean, I think that's what all kids dream of, isn't it? Is what you've become a David Beckham or, you know, a, a Gareth Bell or something. You know, as long as they all that dream, they've got a chance, haven't they? Well, as you look for the next generation of footballers, recruitment is the crucial aspect. You have the best coaches in the world, but if you don't pick up the right players at the right age, your system will be flawed. Jeff Twentyman, BBC Points West.